Hey guys, welcome to the patio. It's T and Damn. We got a good show for y'all tonight. You know, you heard of Uranus, Missouri. We talked about it heavily. 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 Talk we about the fudge. Uranus. We got another Missouri city that's just a tank's distance away, and you're going to want to hear about it. <laughs> Sweet tooth. Gary brings up this Netflix series. And now my family's hooked on it. We're going to talk about that. Yep. Talk about some zombie movies. Father Fortenberry's got a segment that I think you guys will love. Oh, dude, and a question I want you to think about. Would you rather live in the 1800s or the 3000s? We're going to talk about whiskey. We got a lot of whiskey to talk about tonight. But first, foremost, Father Mick Fortenberry. What's up, brother? <laughs> He's through with the Mick Fortenberry. <laughs> What's up, guys? Father Fortenberry here. You can find me at fatherfortenberry at gmail.com. You can find me on uh on the Twitter, you can find me. Look, just Google Father Forberry. See what pops corner, up. Can they find you at the corner of Man Street? At Man Street and, and Candy Manly. Cane. There just we go. Just Google Father Forberry. Shit uh, pops up. Gary, what's happening, Gary? I am here. I'm glad to be here. I've done. I've done. <laughs> Finish it. Finish your chance. <laughs> All right, I'm here. I am. I am. I've done stake my claim on the patio. I'm never leaving. And y'all, y'all always be fronting. All right, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> you sure? There's a lot of anger right now because I'm so happy to be here. Are, are you Same like, for the show. You've been. Uh, you've I been, didn't think it was anger. I didn't think no, it was anger. It it's like Yosemite Sam done found a gold mine or something. <laughs> <laughs> the bourbon nerd, Marty Mar. What you got on over there, bourbon nerd? I got my Natterjack shirt on. All right, thank you, Gary, for that. I'm, uh, I'm glad you're here, and uh, you Thanks got me fine. and Jamie mixed up. We do. You said Jamie McFortenberry. <laughs> you mean Marty McCormick? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. And we have a surprise guest in house. It would be Wes McFortenberry. Oh, I'm surprised. And he's the big brother of Jamie McFortenberry. It's Deacon Fortenberry. Actually, he was looking at me like, who's here? <laughs> it's kind of like, like, like your dog <laughs> twisting his head when there's somebody new coming to the door. He was like, who is it? Oh, I got me. excited. We he were going to have a guest. He got excited. Deacon Fortenberry. Wes, tell, tell everybody about you. about you. Who are you? What you doing here? Oh, man. I I, I got invited. I've, I won me some, some little samples. and Oh, that's uh, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Won't you share with people at home what you won? Yeah. Oh, yeah Wes, for you the guys yeah. that don't know, Wes won our first, um, what race did we do? A duck race? I think we did. Yeah, it was a no, duck race. Yeah, it was, oh, yeah, it was yeah, a giveaway. Was, yeah, I don't remember ducks. what for, yeah. but he got it was a sample. Gary's birthday. It was Gary's birthday. Uh-huh. That's yep. right. And, uh, Even we, though we almost share the same birthday. Almost. almost. So this was like a birthday present. Yeah, sure. All right. I'll so share with everybody what we got you. Okay. Okay. First thing I got some Rebel CS. Uh, let, let me say, let me say this. Cash it was a long time ago that we actually won a lot. It, it, it took a while ago. We it knew took a while to by. get him as a prize. We actually forgot how much we gave. <laughs> <laughs> now proceed, proceed. <laughs> okay, I got some uh, Rebel CS 120 proof. That, that would be cast strength. That'd cast be strength. from Marty. Uh, that's from Marty. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, and then I got some uh, Rebecca, Rebecca Creek, Creek double mm-hmm. barrel. Yeah, that's from T. Spanish Oak. 123.8 proof. Yeah. That's nice. from TV that's from Lock T. Lockhart, right? No, that's from, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He got me the bottle. And I got some Traveler 90 proof. Travelers, yeah. Mm-hmm. Travelers. Mm-hmm. Show them what your loving brother gave you. My loving Adam. brother gave me some Willets. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> he Adam, really loves you. Adam, <laughs> he does. He Adam does. Major Zero. Uh, <laughs> Adam says that is trash. I've never tried it. So it's trash. I'm, I'm Marty giving, tried it. I'm giving it to him with, with good faith. I think you're giving it to him because that's all you could find. Well, should I tell what I brought? Yeah. You might as well, Wes. Yeah. Tell okay, us no, what we bought. We're going to try this tonight. I'll go ahead and break some cuffs out. No, let's oh. not try right now. Let's yeah. wait. <sighs> let's wait. <laughs> he got excited. Do you need something? You need drinks? All right, no. let's get it out. Let's get it okay. out. Break okay. some cups okay. out. Right, yeah. I didn't want to disappoint Father Fortenberry. Right. He looks sad. I thought yeah, they were going to try the pot steel. I brought some Elvis Midnight Snack. Hey, uh, he got to try the pot, pot steel before we get off air. <laughs> uh, it's some steel. peanut butter, banana, and bacon flavored whiskey. Mm. My daughter's a huge Elvis fan, so that means everything Elvis I have I, to be a fan too. Like hold up, hold up. So you, your daughter likes that bottle? She likes Elvis. I don't know about no. the bottle. Okay. <laughs> she yeah. ain't tried it yet. She ain't tried oh, it. Oh, and my uh actually my uh brother in law uh picked it up for me. Uh Jeremy. He he's a he listens to the show. Mm. Oh, Jeremy. Yeah. Shout out to Jeremy. Jeremy, Jeremy. Funderburg. What's up, Jeremy? Funderburg. Up, Jeremy. Thank you for listening to the show. Well, but we Jeremy, enjoy I, weird names. I, I, I'm upset you're not sharing it with other people. Yeah. Right, you need to be out there telling everybody about the patio. Uh, Wes, I'm going to give you some stickers to give Jeremy. Yeah, okay. So, so, we'll for give sure. you some stickers yep. for sure. 
And uh, thanks for being a supporter and a fan here. of the show. Fort Bear, are you going to drink all those or are you going to share them? We may also send out a coloring book as well for him. Oh, cool. Okay. Cool. I like coloring books. We have a Life in the Patio coloring book. We, we can probably we make can. <gasps> How about oh we do a children's God. book? That smells like peanut butter. Oh, yeah. I can't, I can't and banana. I can't do it. You don't and like banana. peanut butter? I don't, I don't, I don't do peanut butter. I, I, can't, I can't do it. How about Peter butter? I don't, no, I could do Peter butter more than, <laughs> more than peanut well, butter. Well, I'll, I'll whip you a batch. <laughs> you have peanut butter. What do you, you don't want me falling Just out say, the show? No, this this like, tastes exactly like it says the name of it. <laughs> or I, or smell it peanut, I smell peanut butter and banana. I smell, I smell th- both of those as well. But the banana is like Laffy Taffy banana. Dude. That's like, all right. I could get hurt on that bottle. It's really good. Yeah, it's only it's not very strong. It's only like uh, seventy proof. So pretty stout. Yeah, th- this other stuff I had poured up is one hundred and thirty-one proof. So that's twice <laughs> as proof as that do. That's pretty delicious, actually. It is. If you like, if you like bananas and, and, and peanut, peanut butter, peanut butter and bacon, and don't like, I did not butter. taste any bacon. <laughs> I did not get bacon out of it. I kind of get bacon kind of on the back end of it. Is it salty? Yeah, you, you got bacon in your back end. You got, you got salt on the back of your throat, Jamie? A little salty? All right, speaking of salty, a couple episodes back, probably like two months ago, Gary brings up this goof series on Netflix mm-hmm. called Sweet Tooth Yep. about this wonderful little half deer. Not even half <laughs> he's deer. Not, okay, he's like more... more He's like Quarter 10%. Deer. He may be 10%, 10% deer. deer. He's, he's got the deer 10% horns. that counts. He's got the deer, deer horns. And I told him then, I've never watched it. I thought it was kind of stupid. Well, here we are weeks later, and we're freaking hooked on the damn show. <laughs> hey, Big Man is one of the coolest guys on TV. I, I yes. feel like I am Big Man. <laughs> you are Big Man. <laughs> and I feel like, you know, this little deer, everybody wants to protect him and take care of him. Gary, I hate you. You have ruined my life. You're welcome. I hope my whole family loves some sweet tooth. So I might have said I watched our season two, I guess. I've wa- I watched the last season. I have I'm a done. finale of season one left on season one. <sighs> oh, the, the, the finale is actually pretty rough. If I remember, it's sad. Oh. I, th- I think it is, too, if I remember yeah. correctly, because I was really upset. Mm-hmm. Marty, you're not really engaging here. Yeah, I'm watching it. You know, that was filmed in you Arkansas. Watch you know, that was filmed in Arkansas. He right? don't have a TV. Huh. Yeah, that's why it's called not it's called sweet tea, it's sweet tooth. <laughs> oh, hit <laughs> <laughs> me, you see it or what? Yay! <laughs> Wes, have you watched Sweet Tooth? Yes, it's a. I've been caught up. I'm, I've my daughter introduced me to it, and we watched it together, and like we're caught up. I got to say, it has been a family yes. watching event. So I have been on OnlyFans watching this show called Sweet Meat. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a bunch of it sounds like a bunch of baloney. You watch all the episodes? <laughs> watch, I'm watch, I'm watch you watch them all? <laughs> you watch them all? I'm going to see you You will see you It's a marathon. Yeah. <laughs> Are you, so you're a subscriber of what? <laughs> Who's wheezing this, man? I'm wheezing this time. <laughs> it's not. You're not wheezing. I'm wheezing. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. All right I, I caught myself off guard. Mm. Marty, you got to go home and watch Sweet Tooth. We cannot be, you cannot be left out here. It'll like teach you how to survive the apocalypse. So when the apocalypse hit, we've got a plan. Those of us in Delta Acres so, and Fort Berry are going to try to get Delta Acres. We got a plan. I'm going to tell you right now, if, <laughs> if Marty runs across a kid that has antlers, Marty's taking him down. <laughs> <laughs> that kid is going to be mounted on Marty's wall. No, if he ran across like the kid that's half tree frog and half kid, that's the kid that's going to be took down. <laughs> Or what about ducks? Who was it that wanted to get that thing and kill a duck? Oh, Marty. No, Marty. 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 Yeah. I got a duck. Half duck, half kid. That'd be like But it, the it's duck. a post-apocalyptic movie, which it is. I love post-apocalyptic movies. Me too. Mm-hmm. I love it's apocalypse. It's a unique take on it. Yeah, you know, I mean, it reminds me of a good zombie movies, like a... Um, um, zombie movie. What? Yeah, but what's the... What's, uh, the, one? what's the one that was so big on the TV show? Uh, Walking Dead. Walking, Walking Dead, Dead, yeah. yeah. I lost interest after season eight. Yeah, but, but, but the whole gist, the whole important part was people watching or what other people, people are doing. It wasn't about zombies. So, it so, was about people. So what is your favorite zombie movie? Let's talk about movies, not TV shows. Because a lot of TV shows, what's your favorite zombie movie? Y'all never guess mine. Well, mine is uh, uh, Dawn of the Dead, the new one. The newer one, I guess. The newer one. Oh, 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 yeah, okay. That's like a, the first five minutes of that comedy? is just awesome. No, no, no. He's talking about... 
you saw that in movie theaters with yeah. He's talking about the one that starts off with uh, yeah with the little girl with the little girl. That's awesome, man. Yeah, got the baby in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Father Fortman, what's your favorite zombie movie? I was going to say Shaun of the Dead for you. Shaun of the Dead, yeah. He said that like a couple Because it was Dawn of the Dead, Shaun of the Dead. So I'm torn Shaun of the Dead and World War Z. And no, not World War What's the one with... Um, Brad Pitt's in World no, War no, Z. No, not Brad. Uh, no, what's the one with... Um, oh, um, who? Who's the bartender off of Cheers? Woody Harrelson. Zombie Woody Harrelson. Oh, Zombie Zombie Land. Zombie Land. Zombie Land. Zombie Land. Yeah. That, so that, that's like a top one for me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it, Shaun of the Dead is my favorite. Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. I watch it every time I see it on TV. Gary. <sighs> Gary swears he can predict mine, but I don't think he can. I, I, I think I can. I'm going to try. Can. I like, I was going to go with Zombie Land. Mm-hmm. That's one of my tops. But uh, I'm going to have to also go with, I'm going to, you know what? I Am Legend is technically a zombie movie. Yes, not, it is. It's, it's, a, it's a vampire movie. That's a great movie. There's a new I Am vampire movie. There's a new I Am Legend coming out too, though. So yeah, I know yeah. it's a remake of Old Mega Man. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Which was that freaked me out when I was a kid. That was creepy, dude. It was. It was. I, I mean, they eat people, I guess. Yeah, they go. Crazy. So yours is no, uh, <laughs> Marty. Other than Papa Smurf turns into a zombie. <laughs> what is? Do you have a favorite? You ever seen a zombie movie? I don't watch zombie movies. None. All right, this is a really good one. All right, I'm going to tell you. Okay, tell me. Okay. Can I get two guesses? Yep, you can have two guesses. You'll never guess. 28 Days Later. Nope. That's a good one. That's a good it's one. It's great. That's a great one. Great one. It's not as good All as right. mine. Warm Bodies. Nope. Ah, not a Living Dead. Oh, one. is that Let, the one with not the Living Dead? Starts nope. Dead. Yeah, he starts That's classic. Back. That's what is it? Classic. It is a Korean movie. With nope, subtitles, it's so good. Oh, the Train yes. to Busan, it, to me, is one of the that best is, it, zombie movies. Yes, is that the one with the guy? Made. They start. It starts off in the daughter. city. Yep, and they're yep. trying to get out of the city on a train to Busan. God, that's it's a good one. Fantastic. It is so good. We well, know Korean country. horror right now is just off the charts. Korean in general, you know, yeah, they're yeah, the ones they're, that did the uh, what's the 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 game show? Oh, um, Octopus Squid, 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 Squid Games. Yeah, I know. Korean movies are great. Right, I knew it was Nate Legged Creature. Yeah. <laughs> I know it was. Okay, I'm short on whiskey. Y'all want me to crack open a sample that's been sent over to us? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. This yeah. is from our friend Gandy Rowe. He really is our friend, Gandy Rowe. Oh, so Gandy, 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 Gandy Rowe has really sent is our friend. quite a few samples. I got one. I'm going to reach into my bag. Oh, here it is, right here. This is a Alberta Premium Cast Strength Rye. It's Canadian, 127 proof. Whew. For all you soft tongues. Um, you know what? I'm gonna pour. No, this. that needs to be in. The, yeah, that needs to be in the, in the. Let's get. Um, let's get new ones. I mean, I'm yeah, we, we don't want no bananas in that. Moment. <laughs> no, that thing. About. Seven. I could drink that banana deal like uh, coffee. Hmm. Here, pour them up for me. Mark. Actually, in coffee, that would be delicious. It would be. Yep. You know what? I need a video just on Marty pouring up pours here. Um, so while Marty's pouring that, and we'll get back to it in a second here. Uh, so, so what's your Apocalypse. Well, yeah, movies. what's your oh, favorite apocalypse? apocalypse. Movie? Apocalypse. Not, not zombie. zombie. Not apocalypse. I mean, zombie is somewhat apocalypse. No, but post apocalypse, what's your favorite movie? I, all right, I got uh, my favorite by, yep. by far, I'm going to say, is Independence Day. Oh, wow. That's great. That is good. It, but that's not. That's that probably is, the only one ever saw. Yeah, yeah, I don't world. think that's that post apocalypse. That's not post. It's apocalyptic movie. That Fourth of July speech, no, that's 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 post, that's that's post, July speech is awesome. It was. This will be our Independence, Independence Day. Day. All right. Um, I read the book. Good book. There you go, Wes. You're up next here. What is your... You realize what I did? Oh, um, I don't know. I, I, I'm i going to go... I know it's going to technically be a zombie movie, but 28 Days Later. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's top apocalypse. Yeah. That's apocalyptic. Yeah, it is. Because it's after he wakes up. You know, it's been 28 days, you know, since... Uh, Jamie. Uh, I'm going to go with The Road. Ooh. Tell everybody what The Road's yeah, about. Because so, I know uh, Marty has no idea. <sighs> Is it Hugo? Uh, 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 what's his Hugo name? Boss. Boss. That's what I'm Hugo's Hugo Boss. <laughs> uh, he he walked around in. What's his name? Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah, yeah. from um, Vigo. Isn't yeah, Vigo. Vigo. Yeah, uh, Vigo. Vigo uh, Mortensen. Yeah, Vigo Mortensen. Yeah, Vigo yeah. Mortensen. Uh, is him and his son are traveling in a, on the, down the road in a po- post-apocalyptic world, and um, they run across cannibals. And I mean, I, I guess I was at hell spoiler alert at this point, but they get all the way to the try to get to the beach. Mm-hmm. And uh, the dad gets uh, gets mortally wounded. They make it all the way to the beach, and uh, he dies at the end. But he gets his son to the 
to the coast where he's trying to get him. It's a really good hmm. post-apocalyptic movie. Okay, you already gave yours. I did. I said Independence Day, but I got one. I got, no, well, I had on. yours. Another one. Dang it. I got another one. You can whisper at Marty's here. You guys go first. So, look. I, what am I drinking now? I was going to say two, but and these are kind of corny. Go. But uh, 2012 is a really fun movie. That's a good Actually, one. Actually, I got three of them. John, John Cusack's in yeah, 2012. Yeah, John Cusack. The Day After Tomorrow. That's another good oh, one. I saw one. that in theaters. That's it, a good it one. It is pretty good. And I'll save my other one in case y'all didn't get it. Marty, do you have any? Yeah, Stripes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the last movie we've already watched. That, 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 that's I, I say Stripes. Gary, you get a second. I get a I, second. I a second. Cause I'm gonna, well, get seconds. Yeah. Okay. okay. Get then you go and you proceed. Thank you, This Thank you, This man. is a low-key one that won't make the list of anybody, but I think it's great. This is the end. Oh, yes. This yes, is the so. end. Of the, <laughs> that? Okay. Okay. Is That's, that the one is with Is that the, religious movie? <laughs> it's apocalyptic. Is that a religious movie, though? But it's apocalyptic. It, it's about the, That's uh, the true apocalypse. Is it not? <laughs> but is it about... Uh, it's about... Uh, the being a good person. No, uh, shit. What's going? We all go to heaven. The, the rapture. 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 The rapture. But that's the apocalypse. As a preacher, I should know that. But uh, that was great. I love uh, Danny McBride that, in that movie. That's the one with the comedy with. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. 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 there's one with not just the, the comedy. It is, there's it one is with is Steve Carroll that's similar to this. Is oh, the that's oh, that's sad. so that's good. That's a sad one. What? Yeah, like the. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but there's a like, Steve Carell's in it. Is uh, the yeah. oh, the comet's coming down? Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all missed it's, it's, it. Oh, 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 oh. Don't no, look up. No, 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 that one sucked. You, Armageddon. You, oh, yeah. Oh. Or, what was the other movie that's I, just like it? Uh, Armageddon. Same time? Uh, Armageddon deep, and Deep, deep Impact. Deep, deep Impact, impact. yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to close Exact same movie, so. <laughs> I don't want to fall asleep. Hey, but Jamie talked about a sad ending. Has you not seen The Fog? And I miss The Fog. Oh, that's great. Yeah, at the end. The ending is, like, horrible. Have y'all, okay, post-apocalypse. Have y'all seen Rover? No. no. Like Red Rover? I mean, Come yeah, but it's the word Rover. Come on over. It has, uh, what's the old, uh, the shiny dude from uh, the vi- vampire movies? The shining dude from the vampire movies. The shiny dude. Yeah. Uh, the, the guy that played the, the last Batman. Oh, you're talking. Yeah. All right. The guy from Christian Harry Bale? Potter. No, guy from Harry Potter. That uh, Yeah, yeah. That died in Harry Potter. Y'all are terrible at this shit. <laughs> what is that? I'm glad I don't watch movies. Yeah, yeah I know your, movies. Your memories. He for played shit. the last Batman. He was also the uh, the sparkly vampire in um, the vampire movies. The, the vampire movie we shall not talk about. The mm. fan fiction for Brad Pitt. No, uh, no, it's it's girls' fan fiction. Yeah, oh, but oh, Twilight. 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 Yeah, yes. that's yeah. 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 What is his name? But so the premise Robert Pattinson. Robert, yeah, Robert Pattinson. Pattinson. Yep. So he also played a bear, didn't he? Patterson the bear. What is that? <laughs> Just like that. So he's he's oh, trying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> character. I can't remember if he's main character, but Pattinson. anyway, guys traveling uh, down a desolate road. It look, everything looks like Mad Max. But somebody stole his dog. Oh, I, you just hit a great apocalypse movie, Mad Max. Yeah, oh, Mad yeah. Max. Yeah. That's the original. The original. Oh, Waterworld was great. I loved it. So, people so hated many it. People hate Waterworld. <laughs> I watch it every time I it's on. I love Waterworld. It's so good. It's okay. It was it was built up to be awesome, and it was just okay. Oh, another awesome apocalypse movie, Mailman. What, oh yeah, that's right. Steve, good. Steve, not Steve. No. Uh, um, Hell, man. We're so terrible. At- <laughs> you're just I, I, old you're and just like the same dude from uh, Waterworld. Oh, Kevin, Kevin Costner? Costner. Yeah, yeah Kevin, Kevin Costner. Costner. Yep. Kevin Costner. Ha- have you ever seen? He was in Mon- He was in Montana. Hold on, I think that Mayo. Wes had another apocalypse movie. He go, was wanting to go, go on. Did you not, Wes? The Fog. Was that the Fog? The okay. Fog was so good. Oh, that terrible the ending was terrible. Yeah, they mentioned that like bad. twenty minutes ago. I know. I, I, yeah. I thought you said Fall. No, the fog. That's that, a good movie. That too. might be the worst ending to any movie that, I've ever is, seen. Is, is he yes. talking about the fog or the mist? The mist. Is, is, maybe it's the mist. Maybe it's, it's the, the mist. mist. It's, it's the mist. It's the mist. mist. I can't tell the difference between fog and mist. <laughs> I, I can't either. But that's where he ends up. Wrong with kill, you. I can't tell the sun. Y'all saw well, a terrible movie. Look, and, but then the tank show up and he's safe, and he's the last one left. I'm like. This is the worst ending to any movie that's ever no, happened. I never watched Y'all it Y'all sound like a bunch of teenage girls. Let's talk about this whiskey we poured up. Okay. I have not drank mine yet. Oh, I, either oh, I don't know. Let's back. go to the no. And who is this from? Gandy <laughs> Road. Gandy Road. <laughs> He's what, a, is it, what is this, Marty? It says on Marty said, let me smell my empty cup. <laughs> <laughs> it's Alberta Premium. Okay. Cast drink rye. Y'all C.S. Gonna, rye. Y- C.S. Rye. Is this from? Y'all are going to think of it. 27 proof. I smell bananas. 
<laughs> That's a different I, cup. Cause my, I, don't, I don't get bananas. Mine tastes like bananas, but I put it in the same damn cup. <laughs> I, I can't bananas is I think that's the rye mixed in. Well, I tell you one thing. No, no. there's something sweet. I get a sweet nose. There is no mint on that rye. Hey, no, that's good. Dude. That's fantastic. Okay, the professionals open the mouth of the breathing, right? You do both. <laughs> I don't think you got to do all that. <laughs> It's like you've been watching too That's much OnlyFans. Maybe it's vanilla. <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was a, that episode that I missed. Perfect nerd. I think you could start an OnlyFans of you sipping whiskey. You could have an OnlyFans of anything. Shit, I'll do it. <laughs> Marty be out there new drink whiskey. <laughs> I, yeah, I, South Park again. Yes. There we go. You gotta watch me. If I drink too much, it's, it's coming Everything off. Everything goes to South Park. But let me see you. That's damn good. It's Gary. Is you it got to like I get that. a sweet smell to it. And I'm not sure what it is. The rye, the rye is not too strong. It's well, pretty it's, decent. It's like it's Canadian whiskey, so Crown is sweet. It's, right, I Canadian. don't get I the vanilla. <laughs> but but this came from from our friend Gandy Road. Yep, yeah, he's really a friend. And now we got a friend in Gandy me. Road is really a friend. You got a friend, friend in me. me. You, you got, got a friend, friend in me. me. That's all I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Travel down, down the road, the road and back, back again. again. Your heart <laughs> is true. You're, You're a friend and a confidant. Thank and you for being a friend. A party. <laughs> <laughs> Invited everyone you knew. You would see the biggest gift would be from me. And the car attached would say, Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> All right, wasn't that was fantastic. Oh, my bad. I All hit right, the wrong look, button. Uh, that's great whiskey there. Uh, we're going to come back and do some more whiskey stuff, believe it or not. We might be feeling real good by the time this is over. We still got whiskey of the week. Look, <laughs> we, week. we talked about Uranus, Missouri, mm. right? Well, just a short taint away <laughs> is Cooter, Missouri. Is it north? <laughs> it is right. It's kind of like. <laughs> no, it's kind of like. Depending on which south, way you yeah. It's kind of like southeast. Uh, Missouri's full of interesting city names. We, we southeast. Really, we, we really. <laughs> it's southeast <laughs> of Uranus. It's just south. Or north. It's be north. <laughs> Look, well, apparently human, human anatomy escapes you us. You have spent far too much time on OnlyFans because Cooter, Missouri is definitely southeast <laughs> of Uranus. But right. if it's east, it'd be going sideways. Would it be? It depends on how they're facing. If they're facing you, to be... We're mind. talking about Missouri. I got a question. So it's the show me state, after all. All right. It is the show me state. God, I'm sorry, Gary. I, I just got a question. Would it be illegal if you're headed to, to Cooter and then you take a U-turn and go to Uranus? Are U-turns legal there? From I think Cooter it is. To, to, I think theoretically that would be a legal move. traffic move. Taking a U-turn from Cooter to Uranus? Well, wouldn't you, know, you just take a hard left? But you know, Sometimes. I, I know a lot okay. of people, okay. though, they're, they're on their way to Cooter and they try to slide into Uranus. <laughs> Maybe because they want to pick up some fudge. Oh, like a Tokyo drift slide, huh? Yes. No, they want to get some fudge. <laughs> okay, I think that was pretty funny, but it's kind of lost its luster here. Oh, it's, uh, it's gonna keep getting worse and longer. Yeah, we're moving we too fast. All right, so look, I got a question for you guys. What? Would you rather live in the 1800s or the 3000s? Which, in all fairness, we have not been to the 3000s yet, Jamie. Just to clarify, I ain't been to the 1800s, but. No, but you know what it was like at that point. Just a second. I, I got to ask it because this is an important question. Is this pre-1860 or post-1860? Because there's a big We'll let you pick any you time pick in the 1800s. You said 1800s. Yep. So would you rather live in the 1800s or a look at what's in the future? This is an easy question for me. It's easy for easy. Uh, me. too. 3,000s. Yeah, 3,000 oh, for me. No. Look, all I got to say is dentist. That's all I got to say, dentist. And I would rather be in 3,000 than 1,800. There is nothing that crossed my mind. Give me the 1,800s, baby. I want the late 1,800s. Yeah, late. Late, 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 late. No, I, I don't Yeah, I, I don't want slavery. I'm not trying to be. Gary, you I, would I'm not, not make it in the late 1,800s. I would, too. Yes, late 1,800s. I, I, there's no way. Yes. There's, yes. No way. yes. Yeah. there's no air condition. We'd probably get stoned. There's no internet. Yeah, you'd be stoned. You would already be stoned. Hey, you'd be walking around looking for a cell phone, and you'd probably get stoned. They'd be like, what the hell is a cell phone? That was like, you're a witch. Marty, Marty's 100% Witch. right. Yeah, you wouldn't live 10 days in 1800, Jamie. And I didn't even mean it like that. They would swear, <laughs> look, you would, it, they would swear you were a witch. Yes. <laughs> or that, I don't even know what they would claim you are. Look, I would walk in the saloon and, and get me a, a one of them girls. You know, in the 1800s, you're probably the fattest man on earth at this point. 100%. I, I think crazy man out of the mountains, what he'd be accused of. 
Yeah, exactly. And they'd be like, how does a fat man like you come out of the mountain? No, you'd be burnt at the stake. <laughs> They're going to burn you at the stake. They're like, you're no father. No father Fortenberry. He's blasphemy. He's like, blasphemy. Yeah. blasphemy. He introduced himself as Father Fortenberry. Yeah, he would. He's he arrived. Liar, They'd be like, you better have kids. So you a man of the cloth, huh? I am Father Fortenberry. I arrived from the future. <laughs> no, no, 18, late 1800s. Late, late 1800s. 1800s. Gee, look. Late. As a white man, I have to clarify, late 1800s. Late. Because that matters. It does. Still wouldn't sell phone. I don't. He'd be trying to get on TikTok. I do have kids. Let me show you. I, I just remember. Where's my phone? That's what you do. For me, I just remember a time. I feel like you remember had, a time. I remember. Or you've a time. heard of a time. I've heard of Marty a time. and I remember a time without cell phones. Without that's what I was about to say. Without cell phones, was I happier and had less anxiety before cell phones? Okay, I but, would say yes. Okay, but there's other things that occurred about the same time as cell phones. It's called a wife and kids, and work I, and self- adult. Yeah, there wasn't stress. Adultedness. I mean, I, I guess cell phones. Adulthood was when, when I was. 16 is when they became real popular. But listen, think about it. late 1800s, you could come home from a hard day's work, beat your old lady, and just go to the bar. <laughs> rule of thumb. Huh? Yeah, rule of thumb, rule baby. <laughs> rule of thumb. Ride your That's horse to the bar. Ride your from. horse to the bar. And Jamie, we you know you ain't back, beating Charlie. You said something smart, you boy. You just Whoop that Jamie, tree. we know you ain't beating on Charlie. Eight, late 1800s, Jamie. Would. Right. No, no. Still 1800s, no matter what year it is. He would have in the past. All right. Yeah. So since y'all had to bring it up, you. I'm going to jump into it. So here we have Brother Fortenberry. Uh, we got one up in the top right corner, one in the bottom center Brother there. Fortenberry Father Fortenberry? Deacon brothers, Fortenberry. y'all are brothers. Brothers, 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 brothers Fortenberry. <laughs> brothers within the cloth. And what's the odd? Uh, how many women out there do y'all know named Charlie? I only know two. I know, I know three. Exactly. And they're no, married. Three. I know three. They're married to the Fortenberry Fort brothers. Both Fortenberry brothers married a woman named Charlie. Yes. We like to keep it simple. So what we did, when he met a girl named Charlie, <laughs> finally he's getting married. I was like, you know what? I got to find one too. Just look, it makes birthday presents so easy. You don't mess up names. Look, mom got on to Jamie That's because he was going story. to see Charlie. <laughs> this is no, Little South why? Haven. Little South Haven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, since Wes is in studio. Oh, I and they both lived in South Haven. They both lived in South Haven. The, no, South Haven. the fact that my mom would even think that tells you what my mom thought about me. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody <laughs> thought that about you, Jamie. Everybody. No, everybody. Yeah, like my mom was like. No, it's what everybody knew about you. Man. <laughs> All right, so look, we had our 200th episode here a while back, and during that episode, I mentioned that my favorite, my favorite, and it still is, I wish we had it on video, <laughs> was the one that we called West, to, where Jamie <laughs> shared with us that he got a unicycle for Christmas, and then Wes had got a pogo stick. Because we couldn't remember what Wes And got. look, guys, I, that's still, to this day, and we've had some great ones. Uh, the last one's fantastic. All of them are good, but but it's still to this day. One of my favorite stories. So, Wes, you guys really got a pogo stick and a unicycle, and no one learned how to use either one of those. No, no. And the, the best part is, is I don't know if you've heard it, but when Jamie tried to fix the rope on the gr- carport. God. I, th- I don't know if we have. <laughs> oh. Marty, look, Marty has no clue what the story is, but he's already holding I just about to spit my drink out. Mm-hmm. I was, look, that's what Marty spit. Yeah, look, so. look. So we had a carport and it had those old metal you know, posts on it, you know? Yeah. Uh, the, the, so the, they have the little fancy stuff in yeah. the middle. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, the yes, little, that's 100% it. Yeah, yeah. So Jamie wanted to see if he could ride his unicycle on a tightrope. Oh, that's all. No, he didn't. Could you like ride circus? it on the ground? Like a, Hold on. <laughs> like a circus. No, he gets up there. Like a circus bear. <laughs> and he pulls the post down. <laughs> My stepdad had to go up there and get a handyman jack and raise the garage back no, up no, so he could get the post back No, up. he did not. Hold on. Hey, good damn thing, because if he wouldn't have pulled the post down, he would have had a lot on his head. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure I can draw this picture right. Because I've only seen a circus bear <laughs> ride a unicycle on a tightrope. You guys, look, he's belly laughing over there. Hold on. <laughs> you, you guys. He kind of learned to ride How old were y'all, like 9, 10? <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> and y'all got these, I these amazing. I was like so what, what Glenn had an old Ford. And I tied one end of the road to the Ford. No. And one end of the road to the post of the holy carport up. Okay, so Wes, you were the support man here. You were you were like helping balance on no. top of No, I, no. I was I was look. You had never rode it on Flatland. <laughs> Growing up, I was always the one that's like, it's like 
Jamie will do it. I got it figured out. <laughs> Jamie will do it. <laughs> they made a deal. If he would have done that, uh, Wes was going to get on on the pogo stick. <laughs> oh, that's the same rope. <laughs> same rope. So Wes he was so glad how, when he How far did you make it? <laughs> An inch. <laughs> You let let go of the pole. No, he, he kind of like fell forward into the rope, so it jerked the whole post out. Well, it's just like, look, I was always a kid that they could say, I was not scared of shit. <laughs> and they do that. They took advantage of it. Well, like Marty, remember the big ditch behind our house? Um, just to, those Was this when y'all lived in parking against yeah. the railroad yeah, track? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, okay, I remember that part. So, so this, this ditch was probably 10 foot deep and probably like 30 foot wide. Yeah, mm-hmm. pretty wide. And uh, I, I still remember this day. I bet Jamie won't try to jump across his, uh, on, on his bike. <laughs> Guess what? He tried it. I tried. <laughs> Face first in the yep. bottom of the ditch. No lie. Then I remember... Uh, you made it halfway. No, he didn't make it halfway. <laughs> he just kind of like rolled across the edge and then the front wheel hit the edge. Then I remember trying over. to slide across it uh, when, the fr- bit, uh, bit, <laughs> when the ditch was frozen. <laughs> I had a big bruise on my, on my hip. Man. That's also where Wes beat me with a broomstick. <laughs> On purpose? No. No. He, he was trying to hit rocks. And I no, it was it. old rotten potatoes that we found in the ditch. Why we have potatoes Why in the ditch? Why were the potatoes in the ditch? Nobody <laughs> knows. We were amazed they were there. I'll tell you what. I think that the more I find out about this unicycle, <laughs> the, the better the story gets. If you guys don't know about it, go listen to the Christmas special from 2022. It's audio only, but it's worth the listen. I promise you it is. Yes. Because we called Wes unexpectedly to get him to confirm the lies that Fortenberry we thought had shared with us. But here we are today. Man, Uh, great story. He was just trying to guess to like him more. All right. So, Wes, what other interesting things about Jamie do we need to know? Well, the reason why he would always pull stuff like that was because uh, he was always so small. He was a small kid. Believe it or not, he was small. Small. Yeah, Yeah, he was small. I made up for it. (laughs) Well, you know, look, so I was the arguer in the family. Jamie would just go with whatever they said and not do it or figure out a way to get out of it. Like, so man, you just, would agree and not do it? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Whenever, I yes. Just He's the same like. today. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so, ma'am. So, and go we would have here, to take, here, take this shot. Okay. And then he's, he puts the shot into the garbage can. We would take turns mowing the yard. Jamie didn't want to, so he started running over all Glenn's uh, trees out front. <laughs> he planted a bunch of little pine trees. I run somebody down. <laughs> Glenn gets so he mad. Got, he got mad as it. Damn it, Wes, you just mow the yard. Jamie ain't mowing no more. Bless you, you couldn't see them little trees. You couldn't see them little trees, could you? I'm over here crying. Uh, yeah, but that's that was the gist of a... You're not crying, I'm crying. <laughs> that's just that's how what, we grew up. That's what happened to that damn sweet tooth, Gary, yeah. you asshole. Uh, I know I'm You're a asshole. terrible person. I am. Look, uh, one of my favorite stories growing up, though, was uh, the, the shed. <laughs> oh, so Glenn, oh Glenn, I Glenn, heard this story. Glenn had a uh, ride lawnmower, and uh, we would... Back the thing in the ditch and put it in uh, fifth gear and pop the clutch and ride wheelies across the yard. <laughs> so he had one. Remember those Sears buildings that those Sears oh, aluminum, yeah. aluminum, aluminum yeah. shit. Everybody had one. So I was uh, pulling it after we'd been ride wheelies in the yard all day. So <laughs> I pulled this bitch up to the shop and popped the clutch and ran, ran through the side of the shop <laughs> with the lock. Hey, I wasn't home. I wasn't this home when this what, happened. I, I'm guessing. Hold, let me guess. This is one of these Murray red lawnmowers yeah, from yes, Walmart. Yes, Hell yes. Because yes. yes. everybody had those damn things. Everybody. So look, we, we bent this thing back in shape best we could, pushed the mower look, in. Jamie calls me. Hey, the hey, hey, hey. When I got home, he's like, I need your help. And I go, me and him go out there and start trying to straighten So you had a shit. cell phone? No, no, I, I got. He, home. You said I, he called you. Well, uh, so, so that means I get out of my truck. There are time travelers. Fort yeah, Bears are time, time travelers. travelers. So, I get out of the truck and he starts screaming my name. So we bend this thing back in shape best we can, and uh, we're like, bet. <laughs> so look, <laughs> Glenn gets there, and this shot looks like it's been beat to hell. All right, so look, y'all. So he calls the cops. <laughs> Because somebody broke the shit. No. <laughs> it looked like some reused aluminum foil. We don't know what happened. <laughs> so if Glenn's listening, he finds out for the first oh, time. He found out like two years, three years, oh. five years ago. Maybe? Yeah. Five, yeah. five, five years, years ago. ago. Yeah, like five years ago, years. something like that. Yeah. So yeah, he got the cops up there. So, so look. <laughs> oh, we got more stories. These two over here, and both of them at different times went to, after I graduated college, I went back to Fayetteville multiple times. There was one series where I was going, like, every weekend we had some party going on up there. And uh, Wes went with me for some fancy football, had a good time. But yes. then Father Fortenberry went with me. And that was a fun time for sure. I got robbed. 
I got us all robbed. He got us all robbed. Look, we literally, it's when PlayStation 4 first came out. Or three. Two. Three. Two. 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 PlayStation 2. Jeez. We're having this huge party at some friends' place. And Jamie and I are up there having a good time. Literally, at one point, we're having a joust with some Viking helmets and something else. And no swords. No swords. But Jamie was asleep in another bedroom. And look, I we figure out the PlayStation got stolen. And it was in a car downstairs. So I go to Jamie. And I'm like, Jamie, he sleep in another bed. I'm like, hey, has anything stolen? He raises up out of the bed and goes, no, I got everything. Then throws up everywhere and lays back down. It's okay, but they stole his phone that night. So, we didn't know it. So, so I'll leave names out of it, but some people that we were to school with at Parkin. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> well, saw, we saw, I saw them, and I was like, oh, man, come hang out with us. And, and they came around. Oh, I never knew that until this moment. What, really? Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. I did not yes. know that. That's <laughs> the people that stole yes. shit. So, look, so you know me. Know. All right, I'm big guy. <laughs> oh, that's the first time I heard it. I, me too. I'll tell you the names after we we'll so go there. I go down there, and they're like, hey, man, it's in that car right there. So I sat there by that car waiting for these dudes to come back because we fixing up toe to toe. And uh, cops come, or this girl comes down with some keys and said, they said, get y'all stuff out of the car and just take it. So we take it out of the car, and he told me he didn't have a phone, but there were phones in there, but I didn't know it was his. So we get everything out of the car. That's and the only person got anything stolen. And he was. And next morning, he go, he wakes up and goes, I think they stole my phone. I'm like, dude, I just asked you if they stole. I didn't know you were sp- all these years, 20 years, <laughs> you're responsible I, for that. Five years, I didn't thought you knew that. No, I <laughs> never. I remember saying, man, I, we're having a big party. Y'all come hang out with us. And those were the guys. Yes, those were the guys. <sighs> good times. But, good, Terry, good. you I'm had the keys to the car, you should have got everything out of it. Whether it was yours he or not. He said it wasn't I would have got, I would have got the, the eight tracks, whatever he had in there. Yeah. <laughs> Batteries. Look, look. I would have drank Hey, look. <laughs> look. <laughs> hey, we're this talking like 20 years ago. I walked downstairs and them dudes are by the car and, I, and they literally run through the trees. <laughs> <laughs> we got two things left. This ain't, we, how long have we recording? We feel like we're going forever. Yeah. 37 minutes. Oh, that okay. ain't bad. All right. We got the whiskey of the week. Whiskey of the week and we got some movies. The movies. The movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they don't watch the movies. All right. Okay. Uh, let's do Whiskey of the Week. Marty Marr. Hold on, hold on. There we go. This is the... Hold on. Let me give an introduction. To the Bourbon Nerd Whiskey of the Week. All right. Tonight, we got <laughs> Wild Turkey Werebreed. 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 Where, where did 116.8. So, like a spoon? Hold on, where, did, where did W come from? Straight from Kentucky. <laughs> the W? Where, wow. <laughs> you said where? Where? You said where? So, but I'll say this. this is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, me and my boy Jack Lee. Until Lee a couple weeks ago, Marty and I, neither one have ever tried yep. rare breed. So me and my buddy Jack Lee sit around deer Marty, grab them cups right there. And, and just, just got it. flat oh, hammered. You killed oh. them turkeys, though. Killed them turkeys. Pass your killed them turkeys. Around. That was the first expensive. Bo- uh, you want some? Wes, have you yeah, ever had rare breed? Yeah, little. Yes. Oh, you got some. yes, I have. I, I just so. bought a bottle a couple too. weeks ago for the first time. This was this was the first expensive bottle the I ever bo- got. Hey, the not, bottom one had the peanut butter in it. It's whiskey. Okay. It's not terribly expensive. This ain't rare I mean. breed. I don't what know what they was talking about. Rare. Rare. Where? Rare. You said where? Like Roger Wabbit. Like like a werewolf. Okay, so let's go to nose. Okay, I smell peanut butter. I got the peanut butter. Color. <laughs> <laughs> How do we both get the peanut nah, butter? No, it smells good. It's, it smells, okay, it smells very smells sweet. Great. Very sweet. Oaky, oaky, man. I really like wild turkey. Mm-hmm. Look, it, I, I will you, say this. I, yep. I'm, not, I'm not a bourbon guy like you are. I'm, I like bourbon, but I'm I not. I think you are more than you know. No, no, I love, I like getting drunk. But me too. <laughs> But Gary's a also this, I'm so happy that y'all like one of my favorites that it, mm. it does make me feel better. We just never tried it. I'm gonna say this. <clears throat> That's better than that wild turkey twelve I bought. Uh, I agree with you. Marty and I cracked it for Father's Day and it's far, far better. Maybe it'll get better, but it's it's very good. <laughs> oh my bad. Turkey came okay. out. <laughs> All right. Turkey so, come out. Tur- turkey came out. <clears throat> All right. So, look, this next segment, and it'll be one of our last. Yeah. I, I got something else to try. No, we're getting along pretty good. No, we're getting good. We're getting All right. Stuff. So, these are classic movies. Classic. 
And Jamie, you can't chime in. No, I can't chime in. You, this is I, I made seven. these. You well, made, with yeah. help from Reddit, but I made you, these. These are your classic movies. Yeah, and I'm I'm going to give an intro like maybe a movie person would. Uh, like you you got to guess what movie it is. He's going to give a tagline. You have to guess the movie. Hmm. Guess I'm going to add a little something to it. Okay, that's fine. All right, there you go. We we'll get points. Get points. Yeah, yeah. All right, Wes, you got to help. Matter. All right, you I'm ready? Gonna lose. All right, all right, shut the hell up! I'm trying to do this. Okay, for the show. I don't know that movie. A boy and his favorite companion learning gun safety. Oh, I know this one. Oh, what yeah. Is it? Uh, Christmas Story. Oh, Jeller. Marty got it. Marty Jeller. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, Damn I'm it. Chris, I mean, that's a Christmas it. Story. No, I've seen an old movie. Old Jeller. Yeah. Old Jeller. Yeah. Old Jeller. Yeah. Uh, boy learning gun safety with Old Jeller. <laughs> I was thinking BB Gun, Red Rider. He didn't like Terrorists it. kill thousands of construction workers as they try to create a new world. I don't know. That's a hmm. terrorist. Come terrorist. on, kills yeah. construction workers trying to create a new world. I'm I don't know. I, Wes, I'm disappointed in you. Star oh, Wars. Oh, don't stow. Oh, yeah, Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> Damn. I thought he would have made that. When I that, added yeah. a new world, Luke Skywalker I thought he was a yeah. serious mass murderer, <laughs> so, <laughs> and he feels good about it. Thousands of construction <laughs> workers died in the uh, in, in the impact. Yeah, oh, exactly. Okay, rough. here's another one. Uh, when a camping trip with the family goes wrong because you happen to be from Israel. <laughs> oh, that, that's way wrong. A camping don't, trip don't, don't clap. Wrong. When the camping trip with the family goes wrong and you happen to be from Israel. You're going to have to give another hint. Come on, give us a hint. No. I'll give it away if I give you <laughs> All right, I'm going to tell you. Y'all supposed Ready? to know this. Schindler's List. Oh, a, a camping trip with the family goes wrong, man. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's, and you're from Israel. Right. Yeah. Well, Gary, come on, what? man. You, <laughs> All right. This one's fantastic. Okay. <sighs> Love Triangle. Medical thriller. Connected at the neck. Pretty good, right, Jamie? Yeah. That, that, that one episode we did with that, the lady, the, the no, two ladies. Wrong. No, you're right. Love Triangle? Medical Love thriller. Love triangle. Medical thriller connected at the neck. Oh, oh, the... Uh, I am a two the, ca the caterpillar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, all right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We'll no. give you credit for the uh, human centipede. Human centipede. centipede. Yeah. Yeah. It's a love triangle. It is. Okay. All right, here's, here's one. Okay. All he wants is human flesh that tells the truth. Human flesh that tells the truth. He, he, he craves human skin. That lies. Buffalo, Buffalo Bill. That lies. <laughs> Pinocchio. Pinocchio. <laughs> Jamie, oh, these are geez. terrible. So Dude, these so are so bad. good. All right. Wait, one, wait. There's one more. We're tied up, Gary. Okay. Nothing like a mother's love from 1969. <laughs> Pretty good, right, Jamie? The addition? Yeah. Psycho. <laughs> Y'all are terrible. That, that's Back to the Future. <laughs> oh, jeez. I thought they went further back. It was 1969. I, I just, I, I picked something because I thought it makes sense. <laughs> no, that didn't make sense. It was like 1950-something. Yeah. Okay, look. I thought it was funny. It's I thought it was great. Post. Yeah, I, 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 I think. I made posters with I, it. I think it's pretty good. Pretty good. We just need a little more work on it, but I think it's a great thing. I think you if I what? shared the poster. <laughs> Mad Mark, no, Jamie, if we adjust the poster. And then share it. I well, think. we'd probably get copyrighted when we show the poster either one. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. I can't believe I got the first one right. You did. You damn, sure seen did. one old movie. Jeller. Yep. You've seen Old Yeller and Stripes. Old oh, Yeller is a sad movie, too. <laughs> Marty, hit that button. Movie. All right, look, y'all. We have had a hell of a time here with Wes with the Fortenberries. Let's have a little part word. Jamie. Uh, hey, guys. Thanks for joining us. Uh, y'all catch you next time. Gary. Two Fort Berries don't make a right. <laughs> Marty. Hit that thumbs up, Wes. Come back anytime, buddy. Wes. Hey, thank you for the gifts, and thank you for having me. Hey, guys, look. Tell your friends about it. Go hit the like button. Don't even think twice about it. Just hit that button. Tell us how much you love us. Tell us you hate us. I don't even give a damn no more. Just tell us what you think about us. But uh, somebody done took from an outlaw. Take my picture down Took my picture down wall. From a courthouse wall I'm living in the clouds And I, I ain't, ain't gonna, gonna fall Somebody, somebody done saved this Outlaw Life Patio out